welcome to Sister Powers Part 2, Your Vibe Attracts Your Tribe. The commonly understood meaning of our tribe is those people who are like us, think like us, enjoy the things we do, work in similar roles, similar con circumstances. Our tribe would cheer us on, celebrate when we succeed and commiserate when we don't get there, helps us feel confident. It sounds quite comforting, doesn't it? Welcome back our special guests, Gail Moore and Ella Johnson to continue the conversation. Welcome back, Queens. Hello. <laughs> hey. Thank you for having us. Yes. Uh, honor to be back. Yes. Yeah, we did, we, we, we did receive a lot of buzz about um, your vibe attracts your tribe. And I just want to hear, starting with you, Gail, and then you, Ella, tell our sister viewers, being with your tribe since our last episode. Um, my tribe never leaves me. My tribe, they're always with me. I can always count on those women to support me even when I'm going through like the worst time or, or even to share things that are very um, embarrassing. Uh, I'm ashamed to share this, but girl, I've got to let you know what's going on with me because I need prayer. I need your support. They are always there. Everybody needs that, that support, you know, someone there. And, and I, I have several of them and, and that's a, that's a blessing to even to be able to say, um, but they definitely hold me up. I hold them up. And what we don't do is we don't bash each other. You know, you know, no bashing. No, we don't talk about it. And we don't, if they, if they say, if I say, listen, don't share this. The, these are my, my tribe. They won't share it. They will just stay with it and stay with me. They won't go back and blab about it. So those are my girls. That's my, they know my vibe is love to always care, to inspire and encourage. And that's what they do for me. That's my tribe. Ella. And I love my oh, tribe. Oh, that's strong. I love it. That is. That's I love awesome. it. Yeah, you know, it's not about we, we, women today. We can't beat. We can't beat it. We don't need to beat each other up. We, right. we we have so much in common. It's just just like I mean, I love. Everybody thinks Ella is my sister, and my well, sister. Well, you are. I am. <laughs> you know, and, and it really is a sister thing. It, yes. You know, when I first heard when I first did this show uh, on Sharon's show. Um, it was the first thing I heard her say was, you got to come back and do sister power. And I was like, oh, I like that name, you know, because it's it's a it's a girl's world. It, to me, it's it's a girl's world. And we have to hang together. We got to support each other. Absolutely. Because yeah, we, we're strong. We are strong right. like that. We have power. Right. We do have power. Yeah. Well, my vibe uh, tracks my tribe. And I, I first of all, I want to just say I love that title. Like that it's is awesome. so good. I it's yeah. just it's refreshing, but my tribe is is all over the place. I have people in Africa, people in Alabama, Georgia, uh, Florida. Everybody that that surrounds me, I I love those people that keep me grounded. I love those people that remind me of my story, because it helps me stay grounded. Because honestly, that is the vibe that attracted them. The realness, the real Ella the person yeah. that loves to help, the person that loves to love, the person that loves before she leads. The vibe is all about the vibe. It's all yes, about Yes, that's vibe. how you attract those people. That was powerful too. Because, yeah. you know, what you end up doing is you, you collect people from all over the world. Because like Ella, I travel the country. So I've got women in Brazil and in Cuba. I got, I've been everywhere. And you attract those people and I collect them. I don't, some people just meet you for right now, but I keep, I collect friends. That's why I have friends from all over the world and they are, they are my vibe attracts my, my tribe. They really are that. So that is an awesome, awesome title that you came up with, Sharon. I love it. It, well, it, it definitely, that? there she is. There you go. Oh no, it says my internet is unstable, but yes, um, you know, I, I just believe in collaborating too with people because I just believe that we all have something to offer. 
And so with my tribe, I love getting their ideas. I love getting their stories. That's why I love doing my show as well, because I like to hear true stories because you never know who's listening. You never know who you're going to attract even more. And sometimes I'm a, people are attracted to me that are nothing like me. And I like that assignment too, because you know, sometimes God puts us on assignments. So I love the vibe attracts your tribe. I love it. And that's what we've been doing since the show is we've been vibing even more. Yeah, yes. And I, I like what you said about some, because sometimes people are very different from you. Yeah. But I still yeah. am attracted to those people because I'm yeah. a true people. We're all, all three of us are, we're, we're people yeah. lovers, you know? Yeah. And that's a genuine thing like we were talking about on the last show. You know, you really have to be, you are genuine when you, genuinely love somebody and are there for them and you want to support them i go in a place to attract people yeah i go i'm going you know sometimes you've met a person and they're just not friendly they don't really want to be friendly there's a reason that's right but you're going you're going to love me before you get done with all your hatred you're going to be happy to because i'm going to share so much love love is more powerful whatever the problem is love is the answer you know? Oh yeah. Cause well, I think know, sometimes yeah. we're led into that, you know, because we're oh, women of God, yeah. we're led mm-hmm. to the mm-hmm. unloved and to the unlovely sometimes. Yes. yes. Boy, you, that's you, know, Gail, you said something interesting about that, you know, your tribe and my tribe is the same way. We don't blab. We don't tell secrets. Yeah. And my mother, a minister's wife, and, uh, later on she was the, um, principal, and she would sit us down at the dinner table and say, you know, whenever someone tells you a secret, forget it. Mm, so this is how I good. live my life. And I said, I said remember I showed, told you that, Sharon? Well, oh, you did? I forgot. Her. So, yes. you know, that's having the best, your sisterhood that you trust. Let me ask yes. you ladies this. How are you nurturing and building your tribe, Ella? Nurturing and building my tribe by constantly reminding them of who they are. Um, Because what happens is that in life, life will cause you to doubt yourself, cause you to doubt God. And I'm constantly reminding people because I have conversations with people and I'll remind them of something they said to me on a good day. And I'll say, God hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. We have to realize that you got to be able to trust God, even when you can't trace him. So don't think he has left you just because it feels that way. Don't go left just because things don't seem to go right. So I nurture that by reminding people of who they are and whose they are. Mm -hmm. That's holding them responsible, right? Yeah. Accountability. Yeah, Yeah, accountability. Exactly. Yes. And they do it to me too. They do it to me too. If I'm having a rough day, they're like, Ella. Didn't you just say on your show? I'm like, just say no more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> say no more. I got you. You know, yep. so yeah. And, and it that's what could come from any of those people. Yeah, that that's is what right. a tribe does. Yeah. That's right. They all have that likeness together. You know how you see those tribes and they have their certain jewelry on and they have all their little gear on and like the like in the, the Africans and you know, but it's amazing. But they stick together, whether it's Indians or Cubans, it doesn't matter. They stick together. They sure do. They have they, sure they do. have that com- that thing that's in common. Uh, and that's their their vibe. Yeah. Their vibe in the same way that you vibe. And you have to you think know? about the body too. The body needs every single thing for it to work. You know? I mean, what good Everything. is the head if you don't have the arms? What are good are the arms that's if right. you don't have the fingers? Mm-hmm. You know, That's and right. you have to learn that you have to depend on each other. And let me tell you something. One thing I've learned with people from being manager and, and anything I've ever done in life, people want to feel needed. They want to feel that they have Much. something to contribute. And when you allow them to do that, they feel like, okay, this is great. I, we've, we've established the problem and now you've allowed me to be part of the solution. And it makes everybody feel good. You know, I love that. I think that's this, that's what this whole thing with Sharon, I think that's the whole concept of this sister power and your vibe, your tribe. You know, everybody wants to be loved and they want to be a part of something. This is one of these things where you want to continue to do it because the more you do it, everybody's going to have a moment where they think, you know, I think I'm going to tune in on that today because we all have those times where, where we're in the valley. And emptiness is everywhere, like Ella said. You don't feel nothing, you don't see nothing. And you want to believe. Circumstances tell you, 
God is gone. I'm all, I'm in this all along. Mm -hmm. But when you got your tribe, they're never going to let you forget who you are, your purpose for being here, and that's that right. we got your back. You Amen. Know? Amen. That's yeah. why you have to be real. You that's why we have to be real. Yeah, you right. have to be real. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. about attitudes. So let's talk about that. You know, how does an attitude affect your tribe? Because we all have different oh, wow. stress levels. So mm -hmm. let's just chat about that. Well, listen, yeah, I, right one thing I, one thing I, I like, and I, I mentioned this on my broadcast the other night, I said, you know, attitude is like a flat tire. You're not going to go anywhere until you change it. Yeah. Oh, think and, about and, that. Yes. <laughs> That's so true. That shows up in a room before you oh. ever open your mouth yeah. and that can change a person's life or it can tear them down. So yeah. we have to always check that. That's why you have Check to stay prayed ass. up. Mm -hmm. You got to always yeah. stay prayed up. Yeah. Because you we're really human. do. Yeah. Yeah. Something happened when last minute. Up. Yeah. Yeah. You just will do better because attitude yes. is, it's, it's, it's powerful and it can change a whole yeah. atmosphere very quickly. Amen. So, so when you have an attitude, even if you're a great, great musicians that I work with, but if they have an attitude, I refuse to really work with them because you, I can't have a bad attitude in the studio. You, it's too, it's too delicate in there, you know. Right. But people with a bad attitude, nobody wants to be around a person with bad That's attitude. Right. And you, you can know? be smart as all outdoors, but no you one can. will listen to you. Yeah, mm -mm. not if your attitude yeah. is bad. That's so right. Check your attitude. Check you it. Know, like a flat, <laughs> says, like a flat tire. <laughs> That's right. You're not going anywhere until you change. Going it. nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is why we, with our tribe, we have such wonderful people around us. Because if I feel good, you feel good. And you want me to feel good, even when we're having a bad day, That's there right. is something to be grateful for. There Always. really is. Mm -hmm. Always something to be grateful for. Well, let's talk about friends versus acquaintances, because we I have this conversation when they say, oh, my my best friend ghosted me and I haven't. No, that's not your best friend. Because <laughs> she's not going to just ghost you and be done. So let's talk about friends versus acquaintances, Ella. Well, I think that what happens is that we pray to God sometimes. And then when he starts answering those prayers, we think that he's forgotten. Sometimes God's answer to your prayers, you may be saying, God, enlarge my territory, bless me. And God may be thinking, yeah, but I got to move some people out of your life first. And just because some people are going by the wayside, you think that God has forgotten. You know, he's actually looking out for you. Some people aren't your friend. Just because people follow you don't mean they favor you. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are some people that just don't like you and they're just around you just because, you know, they can. But when you have acquaintances, those are the people that are there, you know, to see what they can get. It's almost like a hitchhiker. Okay. I love comparing things. You think about a hitchhiker, a hitchhiker gets in your car. They know that you're going in their direction. They just want to know if you're going in their direction. They don't care if you get to your destination or destination. not. They're mm -hmm. using you to get to theirs. Mm -hmm. So some of y'all have hitchhikers in your life. Mm -hmm. Got to get them out of there. Yep, yeah, got to get them out of there. That's right. And I'm not talking literal hitchhikers. I'm talking about the sense of the word yeah. hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 They're just hanging around. You know, like around. my father used to say, they're just hanging yeah. around to die, buy up all, you'll take up all your time. That's you know? right. Because they're bringing, they're really bringing nothing to the table. Right. They're just coming to take from you. Friends right. don't do that. Friends That's do not right. do that. Even That's when right. you're low, 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 and you might come in the room or come to work that day with an attitude, your friend is going to help. They're going to they're gonna be there to help you get, they're going to make you feel better. That's right. Because like my son's he's always telling me, mom, just look around you. Just look around you. There's That's always right. something to be grateful about. Yes. There's always something Amen. to be thankful about. A yeah. friend will tell you that kind of stuff. Ditch the, the hitchhikers because some people are in your life for a reason. Some people in your life for a season. Preach. It's our job <laughs> to make sure to determine which ones are our friends. That's right. Because friends are going to be right. there with you at all costs. They're going to be there. No matter, what. I have with, no, no matter what. No matter what. They're not no going matter what. No matter what. I'm and still going to be your friend. Gail, you spoke about the table. And I, I love this quote from Shirley Chisholm. 
that we've heard so much. You know, the first black woman elected to the United States Congress. Mm -hmm. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. And I love that. Sometimes mm -hmm. that, you know, some people just have this, when they enter a room, mm -hmm. they just have it. It's there. And yeah. people, mm -hmm. are in, it's, people are intimidated by this. And Some so people they don't are, want yeah. to give you that seat at the table. It's okay. Bring your folding chair. What's your take on that, Ella and Gail? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. First of all, I've never heard that. I uh, haven't heard what, that either. What that but sounds to me. What that sounds like to me is if you if you're there at the table, you don't have to eat what's given to you. Right. Get up and move. Mm -hmm. Build your own table, even if it's a folding chair at the time. Get up, be ready to move. And sometimes we are we just want to eat something, even in the natural. I don't eat everything on my plate. If I don't want it, I'm not going to get it. I don't answer if it's not me. Like, for example, if someone called you right now on the phone and they say, hello, may I speak to Natalie? If your name is Susan, you don't answer to that because that's not who you are. But in life, people are going to call you things and react to you in ways that don't relate to you. And you don't have to respond. Same thing if I'm sitting at a table and I know they're not feeding me what I need. I'm getting mm -hmm. up. I'm taking my mm -hmm. folding chair. We're out. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what that means to me. That's yeah. confidence, too. It, yeah. it, it, it oh, yeah. is. Well, you know, a lot of times you get at these tables and like you said, there may not, there may be some people there who really don't like you. They're just jealous of you or whatever the case may be, but God, God always makes a, a place for you at the table. You know, your gifts always makes room for you Amen. at the table. Amen. And if people don't like you, that's on them. Yeah. Really, that's, that's on their them. loss. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going <laughs> to. That's, that's their loss. It, you just, but you still have a space and you still have a uh, room at that table because God has, it is, God has purposed you to be there. Amen. And that's why it's so important to know who God is because Amen. he's the one that leads you and opens the doors that nobody can shut Amen. and causes, goes into your future and prepares a place for you already. Yes. This is yes. a future that God has already prepared for us. Ella. Sharon and Gail. This was already planned. We didn't know it three right. months ago. We didn't even right. know each other. We didn't even know each other. And it's like we're family now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing. So he always makes a place for us, a seat for us at the table. But he also said, be, be aware when you're at the table that you are around wolves in sheep's clothing. You yeah. know, you have to be careful. Um, who uh, the presence that we're in most of the times I mean you guys already know most of the time you have these meetings and all these people you meet a lot of them are full of it listen you know one thing I, I learned too and this is something someone told me a long time ago when I first started leading and getting involved they said you know Ella God will call you to go into the room to change the yes. room but now when you get in the room don't let the room change you change Ooh. you yes remember that's that that's it that's it. So you always know your place. That's right. You know who yeah. you are, even when you get in that bad. That's body, right. You know, um, you just know who you are. So that makes all the difference in the world. You know, your that's purpose. Why, yeah, that's why God opened the door and mm -hmm. allowed you in the room because he knew he sent you in there to change it. But we because get he knew caught you up. Gonna, with, you were going to stand. You were going to be the one to stand right. up. And, yeah, that's right. For what's right. Yes. But we get in there and look at those dollar signs and all that yes. other stuff. We like look at him. And God. we get distracted. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Did you well, hear that, God? Quick. You know, uh, yeah. next no. month from this conversation, Sisters in Park Hawaii, we're having um, your vibe attracts your tribe power luncheon for women, and I it is just blowing up. And it's a small group. It's like 60 um, handpicked women. And we're going to sit at the table. What we're doing is we're celebrating women of character, commitment, and courage. And if I had a private jet, I would fly you queens out here for it because it is on and popping. I when are you, wish when, I could when be there. Is that be? I do too. Uh, Saturday, is September the 10th. Saturday, September the 10th. It would be right. And, and the ocean view is going to be at the Outward oh. Club. It's going to be oh. wonderful. So oh, I, Ella, we need, my, Ella, we need to be at that. She's about to, to make there. me want to sneak on a plane or oh, something. I, I know. <laughs> but the reason why I did bring the, 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 this up, 
start your power luncheon for women there just with okay. your tea parties uh, because this is something that we need and now and in, in moving forward i wanted to um ask you ladies you know your tribe sees the best in you and keeps you humble they see the worst in you and still love you give yes. our viewers your thoughts on this well appreciation comes to mind first when i think about how you know these people who really love you they know you and they accept you the way they are they understand you first of all but they also see your bad side and they don't throw you out they still love you and and still they're they're still there i have so many and and a lot of a lot of some of them are, are men friends yeah you know they just still because they know who you are you know but and so when you do something crazy or you make this horrible mistake you share it with them they're still there for you there's there's no that's that's the most comforting thing a person can do when you are feel at your lowest moment that person sees your horrible attitude and they still love you they still love you they're like girl come over here you know you crazy come on over here be quiet <laughs> you <know? laughs> hello your thoughts I, I believe that, you know, good in gives good out. And whenever you empower people, they will be the same ones that will have to turn around and empower you. And I think that's good. I like people to see the flaws. I like people to see that I cry. I like people to see that I have those moments. But I also have to remember that they also need to see the other side of it also. Okay, you they see really how do. I'm not different than you. I still doubt God sometimes too. I love mm -hmm. him. I'm not going to mm -hmm. stop. But I mm -hmm. have my moment. So I'm just like you, you yeah. know, but we're going to help each other with this thing. So I think it's it's powerful for people it's to see your powerful. flaws. I do. It is. It is. It's so powerful because that's real. That's and real. And I think as soon as people see mm -hmm. that, that you have your flaws, they like you more because that, because then they can relate yes, to you. Yes, that's a very good point, relate Gail. You're relatable and you're because approachable. Then you are seem approachable and you seem yeah. like me. So when you yes. seem like me, that's a likeness, that sameness. That's People right. like that. I do that in my just girls. I, you know, I show them sameness as opposed yeah. to them being at each other's throat and fighting and all that violence and all that. We have so much in common as women. And I think that's so powerful. I, I love being a woman. Oh, I'm I do too. Woman. I tell you. Women, we got power. I know, right? More that. than we know. <laughs> More than we know. And not only yeah. that being a woman, we can change our mind whenever we want to. That's true. <laughs> and it's for the good. And it's for and the good. do. Yeah. And it's and uh, you know, that's what you know, she changed her mind. Now she wants to it's do wisdom it. though. It's wisdom. And that's what we pray for. We ask for discernment. We ask for wisdom. Yeah. And we time. have to be able to recognize when God is saying to us, no. And then we have to in turn turn around and say no. That's a woman of wisdom. That's the kind of woman I like to be around. If she changes her mind and she says God told her to, listen, I wish I could have done that more in my past but now i got yeah. it now i understand you know, how to hear his voice that, that yeah. is true my father always told me um say when somebody asks you to do something say no first because you can always change your mind Ooh, and yeah. say yes but if you say yes and commit yourself then you're kind of making yourself look bad so so we have to learn how to say to accept the fact that it's okay it's, it's okay, okay to change your mind that's right yeah Give yourself permission. It's good too, because you find out where they're coming from. Because That's people true. show you their behinds after you say no too. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. It was like that. You really didn't care about, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's not a bad thing. I think that we our steps are ordered and we just got to truly yes. understand and believe that God orders our steps. You know, yeah. even when we don't understand sometimes, he's always in it. Yeah. Most of the time it looks real bleak and we don't understand. You know, yeah. that's how we, that's what this whole, this is a faith walk. It's it's all about walking in faith, you know, and trusting. If you see, if he, God shows us everything, we would be crazy. We would run the that's other way. Right. If we saw what was that, really if down you saw it. That's right. Yeah. 
So he, he wants us to learn to trust him that way. And I, honestly, it's a really exciting, there's never a dull moment. There's always a moment though. There's always something going on. You but know? you know what, Gail, there are a lot of people, Gail and Sharon, there are a lot of people that think, well, Ella, you know, it's hard to trust God. I, I just can't trust him sometimes. Okay, well, let me show you that you do have faith and you do have to trust. A lot of us that work for companies still, uh, guess what? You have to trust them because you're going to work those two weeks before you get that check. Right? right? Hello, mm -hmm. somebody. Hello, you are going to work those two weeks before you get that check and we trust them. And yeah. we don't question them. We don't say, you sure you're going to give me this check? Are you sure I'm going to get this? We trust them going in and we have to do the same thing for God. Yeah. We well, you know, Queens in closing. <laughs> we need a part three, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, Black women have taken the lead towards truth and justice. What future outcomes do you see for our community? And I want to start with you, Gail, and then Ella. Now pose that question again. Historically, Black women have taken the lead towards truth and justice. What future outcomes do you see for our community? I, th I see a bright future. Sometimes it looks a little bleak uh, at times. I wonder where we are going when I look at our young people, our young women, uh, which is why I try so hard with Yes, I Can with my organization uh, to encourage them and inspire them to keep them on the right path. But I, I, it's, it's hopeful because there are, so, there, are many, there are many women out there who really are trying to do a good thing. They just need to be they need to understand the sister power and the, your tribe and your vibe. That's why I like that. There's because there's so many out there who are really trying. They're in the political arena. They're in they're in colleges. There's they're teachers and lawyers and counselors yes. and everything. And they're really trying to do a good thing. I see yeah. our future as black women as, as some of the most powerful, one of the most powerful women on this earth. That's that's the way I view. I think okay. we are so powerful as women, black yeah. women. Yeah. We're just yeah. a strong people. Yeah. Our race, we're just a strong race of people. Whatever we do, we do it so well. It doesn't matter what it is. We do it well. So the future looks bright for me. It looks bright for my, um, the way I view it. Ella, in closing. And I think that as women, we have to find out and make sure that we're picking and making sure that we're building up the right leaders. Because some of us look at women on Real Housewives of Atlanta, not to knock the show, but we try to use that and build upon that as our future, as our leaders. We have to make sure that we are championing the right people with mm -hmm. the right motives, the right agenda. And yeah, when we do that, nice. I believe that as a, a women, we will we'll be good. We just got to learn how to support each other and stop all the blabbering and nick and the, the back the timing and two timing yeah. and nitpicking and name shaming and body shaming and all of these kinds of things. We got to get back to the things that God put in us when we were young girls growing up. Yes, we were all yes. learning how to work together. If we can get back to that, we'll be more powerful than we've ever been. More, more powerful. Oh, I love yeah. that. Oh. Gail Moore and Ella Johnson, thank you so much for your wisdom and your expertise, your yes. beauty, your love. I, I, I'm just thrilled. My heart is overjoyed. And in closing, there is a saying that like attracts like, which means that the same energies will always be drawn towards each other. And this is why your vibe attracts your tribe. Mm -hmm. Simply put, you will always make friendships with those who resonate in a similar vibrational frequency as yourself. I'm your host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. Thank you for spending your time with us. Aloha.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.